Raiden Shogun. Possibly one of the best, if not the best character in Genshin Impact. So let's talk about her and why she's free to play friendly. All right, let's split this through it. First things first, artifact set. The artifact set that you're gonna want on Raiden Shogun is of course Emblem of Severed Fate. Domain that's out in an Azuma. There gives two piece bonus energy recharge plus 20%. Four piece bonus increases elemental burst damage by 25% of energy recharge. A maximum of 75% bonus damage can be obtained this way. Huge set. Obviously you can have one off piece, that's fine, but you definitely want the four piece on her for this one. Stat priority for artifact set is simple. Substats are crit rate, crit damage, energy recharge, attack percent. On the sands, you want energy recharge as your main stat. And of course, you can't get that as substat, so you swap it for elemental mastery if you're going to go for it. Of course, you want crit damage, crit rate, attack percent as your main ones. Electro damage bonus for the goblet. Crit rate, crit damage, energy recharge, attack percent. And then you want either crit rate or crit damage on your circlet, depending on what you need more. If your crit rate's too low, go crit rate here. If you have good crit rate and your crit damage needs work, go crit damage here, of course. Go the opposite crit, energy recharge attack percent as what you want on the substats. Super fast, super simple. Next thing, we've got weapons. Of course, she has multiple options. Her best weapon is a signature weapon, Engulfed Lightning, but we're free to play friendly. That's not going to help here. So what we're going to go for is the catch. The catch at level 90 will give 45.9% energy recharge. It is a free to play option. It means that we have to fish. It's time dependent. It's not hard. Really, really good weapon for her. And if she doesn't use it or for whatever reason you go for her weapon or get a Skyward Spine from the standard banner, then you can put this on Jungling anyway. Really good weapon, 100% free to play friendly. Super, super good. The best team comp for her, 100% is going to be the national team, which is Bennett, Zhang Ling, and Jing Cho. All four star options, free to play friendly to a degree. Obviously, Zhang Ling's free. You get her from Spiral Abyss. Bennett and Jing Cho, you have to wait for the Stardust Shop or Paimon Shop when it pops up. A little bit of RNG there. Obviously, a quick once over on her skills. While Raiden Shogun's elemental skill is active, a constant periodic electro damage will be unleashed. This will work in time with other attacks. This also works if Raiden Shogun is not the one dealing the attacks. During its duration, whenever characters use their burst, they will add resolve stacks to Raiden Shogun. You can check how many you have by the amount of light lighted up in the circle that skill creates. The more resolve stacks you have, the higher the damage will be added to your burst damage huge. When you unleash Rada Shogun's elemental burst, it will start off with an initial slash. The biggest single damage from her burst this is purely electro damage. After her burst for a short duration, Rada Shogun's normal attacks will be imbued with electro. Her normal attack sting will also change. String, sorry. As well as her charged attack. With every hit from her burst, you gain energy for the rest of your team. This will allow you to use burst to fill up resolve stacks. Just make sure Rada Shogun's elemental skill is active. She's super free to play friendly and she's such a good character guys. So I'm going to do more of these videos on different free to play friendly characters. Hope you enjoyed. See you guys in the next one.